Hello my brothers and sisters and welcome back to another episode of Chris the Butcher and Friends. And tonight my brothers and sisters I am doing a cheeky little chicken dish. I am using some skin on chicken fillet, chicken breast, chicken supremes, whatever you want to call it. I am going to be served it with a creamy mushroom sauce and serve it on a bed of Tripolini pasta. Right. Should we crack on and do it? Yeah, come on. Otherwise it'll be fucking midnight. we need to do is we need to season our chicken fillets and that's going to be we want a good helping of sea salt right freshly cracked don't worry about it going everywhere because we want it to go everywhere crack that pepper 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 i hate these things i hate them and also we can love garlic in this house lashings of that so, I'm going to cook them in my cast iron skillet. But I am going to do two at a time because they're a magnificent. And I don't want it to crowd the pan. So that's what we're going to do right now in our skillet. As you can see, our pan is smoking hot. So we're going to go in with our first couple of chicken fillets. Put skin side down. Because we want that skin to be mega crispy. Right, I'm going to leave that cooking there for about three to four minutes. I'm going to turn it over and repeat the process. But before I do, I'm going to season that side of the chicken fillet as soon as I've washed my hands. Whoa, hey, I think I've got that pan far too hot. But we're going to go for a turn anyway. Look at that skin. Absolutely stupendous. Right, I'm going to play with these. I've got another two to do. When we come back, we're going to be taking out the pan. We're going to have in some mushrooms. Uh, and uh, whatever else I can't remember. But we'll get there. Well, that is our chicken. Seared off to nigh on perfection. If I say so myself. So we're going to get these out of there. And we'll get the mushies in. So at this stage now, I have turned the skillet down to a medium heat. Come on over to start burning stuff, do we? So we're gonna add our mushies. Quite a few of them, because we like mushies in this house. As well as garlic. And speaking of garlic, we have got a good lump of garlic butter. So we're gonna start getting that butter melted and we're gonna start getting the mushrooms incorporated in all that garlic butter as well as all the chicken the remembrance of that burnt chicken i've just done that's in there as well so we're going to give this a few minutes just to lightly brown them mushrooms and uh we're going to drop in with a bit of chicken stock i think so our mushies are where i want them right i'm just going to hit them now with a bit more salt not any more garlic or any more pepper, right? And I shouldn't have put salt in it really, but I'm putting some chicken stock in. Not too much, just enough. There we are. That's perfect. Because don't forget, I'm going to be putting cream in here as well. So I'm going to let that get up to temperature, and we're then going to be putting our chicken fillets back in there. So I think it's about time we went back in with our chicken. Now, they're quite big, these. I have only got four. And I'm going to let them sit in there for about ten minutes. Because obviously these have been cooked for a while. And, well, they're not cooked. By no means are they cooked through yet. There we go. 
keep them moist and all the juices off the plate look at that that's going in there as well get in you goodness yep give these about five to ten minutes let the temperature get back up a little bit because don't forget i've got it on a medium heat uh, and then we're going to add our double cream my next step is before i add the cream is I want to get some crisp on this chicken. So I'm actually going to remove the chicken from here. I'm going to put them in the oven on 180 for 10 minutes and get some crisp. I'm then going to add my cream back in there. We'll get the pasta on, add the chicken back in there so it coats in the creamy mushroom sauce. Hey, and jobs are good. Now, I've changed it again, but never mind. I'm not going to be putting my chicken back in there. I'm going to crisp it off and slice it nice and thin. But what I'm doing now, we're going in here with two cups of double cream. I will probably have to turn the temperature down even further. As not to burn the cream, because you do not want burnt cream, do you? Let's just get that stirred in. That's quite oily. It's going to be quite, you know what I mean? It's got a kind of a blackish colour to it, blackish tinge. Because, obviously, I've cut the chicken in there. I've cut the mushrooms in there. Uh, chicken stock in there. Anyway. We'll let that render down a little bit. Get some heat back in it. And uh, pasta's going on very shortly. And then we're going to be slicing this chicken. And I've got some fresh chives as well. So the fresh chives will be, will be going in that pile of, of whatever abortion there. And as promised, our fresh chives are going in. I've cut the lot. I bought a big bag of it from Tesco's, right? And I thought if I don't use it, it'll just waste it. So I thought we might as well put the entire freaking bag in. Now, I don't know if that's going to be a mistake... I don't know. But I'd say you know what, we'll find out together, won't we? Well, I will. And Lou will, because we're eating it. Look at that, it looks like I've just mowed the lawn. Yes! My brothers and sisters, right? This is how that chicken is cooked. Look at that. Now that is succulent, tender. And beautiful so that is going to be on top of the rigatoni which is going in the pan right now i know this video has been arduous i have twisted and turned i didn't know where i was starting i certainly didn't know where the fuck i was going to end up but hey we're getting there and while we're waiting for that pasta to do its tang right let's have a quick chat right listen i have got an instagram account a lot of you might know i've got one but if you don't, listen, it's just Chris the Butcher and Friends on Instagram. Jump on it, right? Follow me. Let me know who you are. I will follow you back. Because apparently Instagram has put me in the category of comedian. So, <laughs> what? so that goes to show you what, what this is about, right? This is a cooking channel. So essentially that's what it is because I'm cooking on it but it's not serious you know what I mean it's all about the journey we start off with some fresh ingredients and sometimes we end up with a big steaming pile of dog shit right? sometimes we don't but it's not about what I'm cooking sometimes it's about us spending a bit of time together having a bit of a laugh having a bit of a joke you know what I mean Having some beers. Get watched. Get beard. Get munted. Right? Instagram. Chris the Butcher and Friends. Follow me. I'll follow you back. Because there's a lot of stuff on there that you'll never ever see on YouTube. Right? By the way, pasta's burning. I better fuck off. Well, there is my succulent chicken breast. With, I kept calling it ragazzoni. It's not, it's Tripolini pasta. You know what I mean? And all we need to do now is put the, our uh, creamy 
mushroom sauce with chives on it, don't we? And I've got to try and do this without making an absolute freaking mess. Like I said before, I'm not a chef. Right? I'm just a guy that cooks in my kitchen. And we have good fun doing it. Now that looks like a mess. I'll clean it up. And then I'll slide it down my gizzard. So there we have it. We have our chicken breast with our rigatoni. Oh no, is it not rigatoni? I keep tripolini. For some reason, I'm going to, have to get rigatoni in future. I might actually get it fucking right. Chimes, creamy mushroom sauce. It's got a mountain of garlic in there because we get love garlic in this house. And there is my chicken breast. And I'm going to try that first. Me personally, right? I love leg meat. More tender. It's more tasty, more moist. But that is superb. Now, I'll finish that off. Let's get some of that pasta. Tripolini. <laughs> I bought it because it says, right, it's supposed to stick to sauces. And I thought, I'm doing a good creamy mushroom sauce, so let's get it. It's like octopus tentacles. Look! Ooh, I'll squid or something. I'm doing this with an hand. It's proving to be freaking difficult. That's super. It might have took me a while tonight, my uh, my family. But you know what? That was mighty fucking fine. So that was my offering for tonight. It was a. Uh, it weren't ragged sauna, right? It was pasta with mushrooms, cream, chicken, fillet, well seasoned, and I slid it down my gizzard. I'll be honest with you, I've lost the will to live because I'm knackered and I've been doing this thing for about four hours, and it should have took about 25 minutes. But I'm filming, moving, kids, house, you know what I mean? It shit happens. But I liked it. If you liked it, Press like, comment, share it on your social media, and subscribe. And become a family member of hashtag Team CTB. Don't forget to add me on Instagram. That's where all the fun shit happens. Hey, I fucking love you.